Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner and today's video, we're gonna talk mining. But first, let's spin that intro. Welcome, before we get into today's important topic, I have a little special package to open, so let's go ahead and open this guy and then we'll dig into the important matter at hand. You know what time it is, RGB knife. Eat. Never gets old. All right, so let's open this guy up and see what's inside. Of course, then we'll tear into the topic of what I am mining and what I'm doing with my rigs and my crypto and my mining strategy ever since the ETH merge has dropped. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so these are special holographic logos, decals from none other than 3 Fox Co. And if you don't know who 3 Fox Co. is, make sure to go ahead and go over, check out his channel, subscribe. I noticed he sent Red Panda some of these lately and a bunch of other miners and YouTubers. He's a great dude, really smart, great with the solar. I'll put links down in the description for his channel and I'm gonna put one of these right over here on the wall. And then I've got some extra scent here. I told him that I would forward some of these out to some of these other locals since he is not local. So there you go. Thanks my man, 3Fox. I love this decal. This is beautiful. I remember when you first made your logo, it looks beautiful. Hopefully the camera can pick that guy up. So let's go check on our rigs and we're gonna talk about what we're mining and what we're planning to mine in the future. Let's go. All right, today we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna look at our rigs, we're gonna talk about what's mining, what's not mining, and what's our future plan. So let's go ahead and flip this thing around and start with Cortana rig right behind us. Let's go. All right, so here is Cortana. She has been one of my most reliable, most stable, most steady. It was the first 30 series rig I built. There are eight 3060 Ti slash 3070s in there, full hash rate. They've been chugging along, there's the ZSX board. This guy is currently on Ergo. And of my rigs that are running, I have three full rigs, two 12 rig card rigs and an eight card rig, all 30 series, plus two in the main desktop. And they are humming along and they are definitely still mining at a loss. Ergo did get a little bit better because the difficulty dropped after the EIP. But overall, it's still not profitable. I'm still losing money on electric, but I am stacking a bag of Ergo. So there's the Cortana rig. And then over here is Bot Build. It has 23060. And these are the Rev ones. And they were unlocked for full hash rate. And they used to chug along on Ethereum. Right now, they are mining nothing. Next. Okay, and then over here in the corner is the main workstation, the main battle station. This is where I do all of my editing, and I also have a full hash rate 3080 Founders Edition and a full hash rate 3070 Founders Edition. They are stacked in there, and they used to mine ETH. Well, currently, they are running on Ergo as well. And there's my little, little Star Wars guy. Tell him, Star Wars. All right, so let's go check out the actual rigs. All right, sad times indeed. This is the secret mining lair, AKA the garage. Up top, I have 11 6600 XTs with one 6700 XT in there. And that is a beautiful build and I spent tons of time in that one. And as you can see, it has Halo Grunt up on top. And then this one down here is the Arbiter rig from Halo. They are all Halo named. And this one has eight of the reference model AMD cards. Three are 6800 and five are 6700 XT. And why are these ones off? Well, AMD is just hard to find anything profitable or even worth spec mining because they just seem to use too much juice right now. So let's go check out the ones in the secret mining basement. All right, next, here is my Spartan rig. And there's little Mr. Halo Spartan sitting right on top. And this one has 12 EVGA 
20 series, all supers, 2060 super, 2070 super. There's one 2080 super in there. And as you can see, it is also turned off at this time because it is not very profitable either. Uses a lot more electricity, a little less efficient than 30 series. Next. And here's some extra parts and my extra stuff set up. There's another power supply and just extra pieces laying around. And here's my powered up setup. These two rigs are 12 by 3070 full hash rate cards and they are mining. They are both mining. This one is ODST. There is ODST up on top. And then this one is the Master Chief back there in the back. Both of these are on Ergo. So there's 24 full hash rate RTX 3070s. They are mining on Ergo. They are on two miners pool. And I had previously set it up so that two miners would pay out in BTC. But now I'm actually just going to try to stack a bag of Ergo because that's probably a better idea in hopes that someday it is more valuable. So next. All right, so here we go. We got another one turned off. This is just a little four card rig. That is two RTX 3060 Ti Founders Editions and a 2070 Super Founders and a 2060 Super Founders. And this little card was just my fun little extra card rig that I actually had in Windows that I just set up on NiceHash. And it is actually a really nice little rig. And these things just, they look sad and lonely. Let's, let's boot it up just like, Ah, there's that beautiful green glow. How's that look? It's much better, huh? So there you go. Let's retreat back into the mining cave and we're going to talk about future strategy. All right, so since post-merge, the first thing I did right after merge was I moved my entire farm over onto Ergo on two miners. I was getting a payout in BTC. It looked like we were still profitable. It looked like we were going to make some good crypto but then it just the ergo setup takes so long for the hash rate to catch up with the realized what it is currently and so it was flooded just like everything else so then the next thing i did was i moved just the most efficient cards i moved 12 by 3070 12 by 3070 8 by 3060 ti 3070 and the 3080 and 3060 Ti Founders Edition. I moved those cards over onto ETHW. I turned off the other cards, so I had about essentially half of my GPUs running on ETHW. I have since mined about a little over 10 of the ETHW, stacked those up, made a little bag. I think I'm just gonna set that aside. If someday that thing ever goes to $1,000, it goes up to four thousand dollars who knows what the future holds i'm gonna hold that i'm just gonna hodl it hodl it hodl it let it set let it rot either i'm gonna eventually make a lot of money on it or i'm gonna make no money on it now what did i move to since then ergo had an eip and i'm sure most of you if you've watching this have seen that ergo profitability went way up and the difficulty went way down sort of that was true, but then the difficulty has since climbed and it has got back to a point of equilibrium. And I am currently making about $8 a day worth of ergo on about $11.50 worth of electricity. And that's on a cheap electricity. So I'm mining at a loss for ergo. My plan is to stack a small bag of ergo. Same thing. Seal that thing up, set it aside, wait for either boom or bust either that thing is going to go up to a thousand dollars one day or it's going to drop out the bottom either way i can afford to mine this half my farm at a loss and just keep pushing through and i can probably keep that model up for a long time i'll just keep mining through mining through this is not financial advice this is just what i'm doing i'm not depending on my mining income i can afford the additional electricity your situation might be different. This is just a disclaimer. I don't want you guys to put yourself out thinking that the rough times are gonna end in the next month or the next two months. Crypto winter could last a really, really long time. The weak hands will be getting out. The weak hands are selling their GPUs and they are leaving, they're done. Give it some time. Eventually we'll get back to the point of equilibrium and hopefully we get that slow climb back to where we were in 2021 and the beginning of 2022. Now, what am I gonna do after I stack my bag of Ergo? 
not 100% sure. I'm gonna go to the next speculative coin. I don't know if what coin that is. I really like projects like Flux, like Ergo. They have strong backings, they're strong projects, good developers. They will survive Crypto Winter. Will ETHW? It's a coin flip. There's a really good chance that thing goes to nothing. But Binance Pool picked it up. That gives it some strength, some extra oomph. They're not on Binance trading platform, but they are on the mineable Binance Pool. So that gives that one promise. ETH Fair Game. Don't mess with ETH Fair Game. Don't waste your time, your electricity, and possibly getting yourself in a bad spot. Just don't mess with that one. That's just my two cents again, not financial advice. There are a lot of spec coins out there and I will move the most efficient cards, probably half my farm that's running now, all my RTX 3070s, 3060 Ti's, 3080. I'm gonna move those to a really good speculative coin with some real promise in the future. Maybe I move to Noxa, maybe I move to Meow Coin. I just saw a nice video by my man Hawk Crypto. Go check that thing out. Hawk Crypto Mining Company, he just did an interview with the creator. There is about a 2% chance that Meow Coin does anything in the future other than is a short term, term coin and dies out. It's on the Kapow algorithm. It, and it, it really reminds me of Pigeon Coin, which Piggy backed off of Raven Coin way back in the day and it lasted like a year and it fizzled out to nothing. And I stacked a small bag of it and well, a large bag of because it was so like 0 0.001 cent per coin. Uh, per coin. So I stacked this bag of it and eventually that bag just disappeared. And a lot of these alts will do that. They're gonna do that. So anyway, that's my next goal is I'm gonna stack another bag. I'm gonna move away from Ergo. I think I might try Meow Coin. Who cares? I'll put it on there for a week. I'll stack a bag and then I'll move to the next thing. My advice when looking for a spec coin, find something with an actual developer team, not just one guy that forked something. Find something with strong backing. If it's already listed on a good real exchange, that has a lot better of a chance to survive. It will have liquidity, something that can pair with ETH and Bitcoin and that you can exchange this for that. That has long-term chance of survival. So please, please tell me what you're mining. What is your best spec coin? What do you think I should stack a bag of? Help me, help the community. Let's keep growing together. Let's keep mining, keep the strong hands. Be smart with our crypto. Be smart with your mining rigs and electricity. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming along with me. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. Well, there you have it. I just wanna take this time to say thank you. Thank you to those of you who are still mining, the strong hands who are along with me on this journey. If you're new to mining and you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.